Hello. Um, I hope everyone is having a good day. I'm going to go ahead and go over tomorrow's activities. So day four for your packet. All right. So this is where it will look like. It will be this section on your packet paper. Okie dokie. So the first activity for math. This one you are going to choose a number from 1 to 9 and a number from 10 to 20. You're going to write an addition story problem about the numbers. Solve the problem. Have a family member solve your problem too. So I have an example here for you and you don't have to, you can do as many as you want. So it doesn't just need to be one story problem. Maybe it's two, maybe it's three. And I want you to solve it and someone in your family too. So here's my example. Miss Donahue picked eight flowers from the garden. Miss Owens picked 11 flowers from the garden. How many flowers did they pick all together? So then you have your equation to match your story problem. And then this is the strategy I picked to solve it, which is 10 frames. All right, so then the next activity, just like what we've been doing the past couple of days, you're picking two pages from your additional practice workbook and also two pages from your student workbook. And then you've got the other option of doing technology for 15 minutes after that, either Dreambox or Edgenuity. All right, so for reading, um, we would still like for you guys obviously to read for 20 minutes every day. You can choose fiction or nonfiction to read. You can use to re read the books in your book baggie or Raz Kids. The first grade teachers and myself were talking and some of those um, response sheets are a little difficult. So we figured if you are having problems completing those, this is something else that you can do. Instead, you can make a flow map in your notebook um, and tell me what happens in the beginning, middle, and end of one of your fiction books. So you can make a flow map that looks just like this. Or if you pick a nonfiction book, you can make a circle map about everything you learned from that book. So let's say you read a book about birds, and one of the things that you learned is that all birds have feathers. All right, so we've done both of these a lot this year, so you should be able to do these by yourself. So that, again, if you're having difficulties with the other comprehension sheets, this is something else that you can do in your notebooks for reading. After reading is word work. This activity is really cool today. So you're going to use your sight words. So maybe it's words that you don't know yet. Maybe it's words that you do know. You're gonna create word cards with one sight word on each card. You're gonna tape the cards on the floor in a fun pattern that allows enough room to hop like a frog or jump from one word to another word. You're gonna read each sight word, then hop to the next card. If you get the word wrong, you have to go back to the beginning. So that's kind of tricky too. I, hear, I have here an example of what it could look like. So you might start here and then job, jump and say they, and then jump and say how, and then jump and say that. And then remember, if you get a word wrong, you have to go back to the beginning. So this is just an example of what it could look like on your four with the sight words. All right, and then your social studies topic for today. You guys are gonna be learning about what is culture? So culture includes the language, beliefs, and customs of a group of people. Your activity for today is to write slash draw about the language your family speaks and a custom or tradition you have. So this will be in your notebook, and here's an example of what I did. So let's pretend like that's my, my picture I drew. And then I said below that, my family speaks English. One tradition we have is eating dinner together every night at the kitchen table. Each person gets to go around and share how, they, how their day went. I love this time with my family. So this can be just a, a couple of sentences. Just tell me about what language you speak and what are some traditions that you guys have. This is a great time for you guys to practice um, starting your sentences with a capital letter, ending it with a punctuation having spaces between your words, and also practicing um, spelling words correctly. All right, and then after that, obviously you guys get to pick an, another fun specials activity. Remember to um, continue to do your brain breaks in between each subject area. All right, well, I hope this helped. If you have any other questions, just let me know. Bye.